every day I see her watering the demonstration garden, but it's no use. It won't survive. And just like her garden, she won't survive. She needs to change, but she believes that the Lord helps those that help themselves. That won't work. She needs to change. Knowledge is everything. It can reveal unknown facts to everyone or even news from around the world. It can bring forth the corruption and destruction and to reveal what justice can serve. Or as you can say, the cruelty of politics and power. A naive girl soon to learn the horrors of the real world. I, as true as truth can be, Beanie I'm called. I have learned of what the earth can offer, and I yearn to fly. I leave my religion, my belief, and my father. I love my father fiercely my whole life, and it changed nothing. A new name guides me now, Anatole. His name anchors me to the earth. I am the unmissioner, beginning each day on my knees, asking to be converted. Rain, nature's own baptism. Forgive me, Africa, according to the multitudes of thy mercies. This girl is different, unlike others, she seeks the truth. I didn't choose her. But she chose me. Love changes everything. I'm taken away. I need her, but she needs me more. The triumph of the three sisters, the success of Leia. She's reached an understanding with the Congo, the jungle. The jungle is beautiful, but fraught with danger. The poison wood tree, beautiful, yet if disregarded for even a moment, suffering and death will follow. The tropics will intoxicate you with the sweetness of frangipani flowers and lay you down with the sting of viper, with hardly room to breathe in between. The stars, multitudes of them ever watching, like eyes in the trees, apples in the trees. Within each apple is a tiny spark, a spark of forgiveness, a spark of life. They offer a new beginning. These seeds of rebirth offer a chance to redeem the past. You will forgive and remember, move on, walk forward into the light. This is Leah. She learned that in life you can't hide behind a person like a shadow. Like a seedling, she was under the shadow of her father. Her father's shadow was too big, she couldn't grow. She needed her own light and found it. And like Leah, the Congos need to overthrow the shadow of the Belgian imperialists and the tyrannical reign of Mobuntu in order to find their own light to grow. <laughs>